Welcome to the training video on how to set up the BDMAX SARS-CoV-2 assay on the BDMAX system. The BD SARS-CoV-2 Reagents for BDMAX system offers you a simplified and automated workflow with preloaded unitized reagent strips, allowing you to run up to 24 samples at a time with less than one and a half minutes hands-on time per sample. You can get 24 patient results in about two to three hours. We'll go over specimen preparation and how to create a run on the BDMAX system. For additional instructions and information, always refer to the BDMAX System User's Manual and BDMAX SARS-CoV-2 Package Insert. Let's get started. To process specimens, the BD SARS-CoV-2 reagents for BDMAX System requires total nucleic acid, or TNA, to be isolated and purified using BD SARS-CoV-2 reagents for BDMAX System from nasal, nasopharyngeal, or oropharyngeal swabs collected in BD Universal Viral Transport System or Copan Universal Transport Media System and nasal swabs collected in 0.85% saline. The patient sample is transferred to the sample buffer tube provided in the reagent package and then placed in the BD Max system. For a full list of equipment and materials required but not provided, please refer to the package insert. There are two methods for swab specimen collection using either Universal Viral Transport, UVT, or Universal Transport Medium, UTM, or Transport and Saline. Let's first consider Universal Viral Transport or Universal Transport Medium. Remember, you should always wear gloves when handling specimens. If your gloves come in contact with the specimen, immediately change them to prevent contamination of other specimens. Nasal, nasopharyngeal, or oropharyngeal swab specimens should be collected and expressed directly into the BD Universal Viral Transport System or the Copan Universal Transport Media System, according to their respective package insert instructions. Transport the UVT or UTM specimen according to the manufacturer's instructions for use. For specimen preparation using saline transport, you should again wear gloves when handling specimens and change them as needed to prevent contamination of other specimens. Nasal swab specimens should be collected and expressed directly into the saline tube. Store specimens at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for up to 72 hours after collection. If a delay in testing or shipping is expected, store specimens at minus 70 degrees Celsius or below. Please note that sample stability when using BD SARS-CoV-2 reagents for BD Max system has not been established for suggested temperatures and time, but is based on CDC guidelines. Regardless of which specimen transport method used, here is how to prepare specimens for processing with the BD Max SARS-CoV-2 assay. As before, always wear gloves when handling specimens and change them at once if your gloves come in contact with the specimen. It's also important to allow frozen specimens to reach room temperature before proceeding. First, uncap the BDMAX TNA3 sample buffer tube and transfer using a calibrated variable pipette 750 microliters from the UVT or UTM or saline specimen directly into the BDMAX TNA3 sample buffer tube. Then, recap the tube with a blue septum cap and vortex or mix by inversion five times. Label the BDMAX TNA3 sample buffer tube with patient information. Remember, do not obscure the barcodes on the tube as it may result in a BDMAX system catalog failure and an inability to test the sample. Repeat this process for each UVT or UTM or saline sample that will be tested on the BDMAX system. Then, proceed directly with the BDMAX system operation. To process the sample, first, power on the BDMAX system, if not already done, and log in by entering username and password. Gloves must be changed before manipulating reagents and cartridges. Remove the required number of TNA unitized reagent strips from the BD SARS CoV 2 reagents for BD Max system kit. Gently tap each unitized reagent strip onto a hard surface to ensure that all the liquids are at the bottom of the tubes. For each specimen to be tested, place one unitized reagent strip on the BD Max system rack. Assemble the strip by snapping the BDMAX EXK TNA3 extraction tube into position 1. Snap the BDMAX TNA MMK master mix tube into position 2. Snap the BD SARS CoV 2 reagents for BDMAX system primers and probes into position 3. 
leave position 4 empty. As a tip, give a slight pull on the tab to ensure the unitized reagent strips are seated properly. Create the user-defined protocol, or UDP. The UDP only needs to be created once and can be used for subsequent runs. On the all-in-one, navigate to Run. Select the Test Editor tab. Click Create. Fill out the test name as BD SARS CoV-2 TNA3T1. Follow the instructions on the screen to fill out the rest of the UDP. PCR setting. Melt settings can be left as is. There are no additions or changes. Test steps. Click Save. Results Logic. Click Save after all information has been entered into the test editor. The UDP only needs to be created once and can be used for subsequent runs. Click on the Run tab, then Inventory. Enter the kit lot number for the BD SARS CoV-2 reagents for BD Max System Kit by either scanning the barcode with the scanner or by manual entry, and then Save. Repeat scanning or entering the barcode each time a new kit lot is used. Navigate to the work list by selecting the Run tab. Using the pull-down menu, select the UDP previously created. 
for example, BD SARS CoV 2 TNA 3T1. Select the appropriate kit lot number found on the outer box from the pull down menu. Enter the sample buffer tube ID, patient ID, and accession number, if applicable, into the work list, either by scanning the barcode with the scanner or by manual entry. For all remaining sample buffer tubes, repeat selection of the UDP, entering of sample buffer tube information into the work list, and selecting the appropriate kit lot number. Slide and rotate the latch mechanism open. Place the sample buffer tubes into the BDMAX system rack corresponding to the unitized reagent strips previously assembled. If you haven't already done so, click or tap the unlock door, which will allow you access to the BDMAX system. Load rack or racks onto the BDMAX system. Position sample rack A on the left side and sample rack B on the right side of the instrument. The sample rack has four pegs, one on each corner, to guide and secure the rack in place. Use both hands to hold the racks by the handle. The tubes will face opposite you. Place the sample rack or racks into the system. When the rack is in position, lower the handle to lock it in place. You'll know your sample rack is seated properly if you can put your handle down without resistance and the rack doesn't wobble. Your tubes will face opposite you. Repeat the procedure for the second sample rack. Place the required number of BDMAX PCR cartridge or cartridges into the BDMAX system. Each rack needs one PCR cartridge to complete a run. Handle the PCR cartridge only by the edges to ensure that dirt or debris does not interfere with processing. Position the notched edge into the upper left corner of the drawer. Make sure the PCR cartridge is positioned correctly and fits snugly on the drawer. Remember, the drawer closes automatically. Don't try to close the PCR cartridge drawer manually. Close the BDMAX system lid and click Start to begin the processing. As each item successfully passes the catalog check, a green Passed icon appears for that consumable. When a run is complete, you can view, print, and download the results as well as export plots to a USB thumb drive in the results display. If desired, results can be searched and filtered. Enter the variables you want to search in the appropriate field or fields in the search criteria window at the right of the display. When a run is selected, you can perform a variety of actions. The export operation exports results to a CSV file and copies a PDF file of the current run report. To view run results, double-click the desired run on the list display. A new button appears above the menu bar, labeled with the run number. For example, Run X, where X signifies the run number. You can also open two or three runs in the same run window. Click the Run button to open the Run Details display. You can open multiple Run Details displays and scroll through the list with the navigation buttons at the bottom left of the display. To print the results, click the Print button. The Print Preview window of the Run Report appears. The Run Report contains a table of detailed results and PCR graphs. To print the report to the default printer, click the Print button in the Print window. To export the report to a USB thumb drive, click the Export button. The Export operation exports results to a PDF file of the current Run Report. Copy Run will copy the samples logged in for that run back into the work list. The Details tab appears by default when a run is displayed. The plotting display allows you to view PCR curves for past runs. By default, only the channels used in the test are shown, and all positions are shown. Use the position color checkboxes and the reader A or B checkboxes to view and hide specific positions. The color of the position checkbox when filled corresponds to the curve's color in the graph. We hope this program has helped familiarize you with how to set up the BDMAX SARS-CoV-2 assay on the BDMAX system. If you have any additional questions, please consult the package insert, user's manuals, or your BD representative.